got this brand new vest which we're calling the cool the cool vest um, it's not a replacement but it's a partner with the original profi vest which is extremely tough probably the toughest vest on the market um, we've had some we've kept the same the same features with the, with, the, with the, the cool vest as we have in the standard but it is a little bit lighter with this their airtex military grade netting on the back uh, it just makes it a bit lighter a bit cooler certainly uh, when you think of the rather extremes we've had certainly last week this, is, this would be the best to wear. Deep pockets on the top here, which will fit a phone or a radio. Uh, we've got something for your whistle, so when you're bending down talking to your dog, you're not smacking him in the face with, it, with a whistle. We've got netting pockets for, for tennis balls and that sort of thing. We've got a detachable inner pocket, uh, which is extremely good. Um, if you want to use this as a, fa a falconry vest, because uh, falconers have a ten tendency to put dead kicks and other horrible things uh, in the pocket. Uh, so that, could, that, that will come out and that, that will wash. It's also quite good as a safety flash. Uh, so if you're, if, you're, if you're training late at night or coming back after picking up, you can walk down uh, a lane quite happily and they can see you at the front. And if I turn it round for the back, there is a detachable piece here, which is quite good for two reasons. You, you can sit on it. And then if you're coming back again, as I say, late, late at night, uh, you've got a safety flash you can put on the back of, back of the vest uh, again. So you're, you're, you're absolutely visible. It comes in uh, this, this olive, olive green, it comes in brown uh, and, and, and beige. Uh, we also do a, a, a wax version, uh, which we have in dark, a dark brown wax, um, or what we call the Sahara, which is, which is as the name suggests, is more, more, of a, more of a sandy colour. And I think it's about the only vest on the market with something to hang it up. This is called the Sidekick. It's new from an American company, R RRT. Uh, RRT make an extremely good, uh, very, very, very modern hand launcher. What you would do, you would start off with, with a hand launcher exactly like this. Um, very simple operation, 2-2 two, two blank in there. And as you can see, it's got the most fantastic extraction system. Uh, so you'll never get your blanks caught in that. So you'd load that with your 2-2 two, two blank, close it up, you've got your dummy on it. You go out in the field, always hold your launcher like that, pull, bang, and, and off it goes. Now, if you already possess a handheld launcher from RRT, whether it's one, whether it's one of the old style ones or whether it's more modern ones, it will fit. You get all the fittings um, within within the box. So just to have this little little chap um, as part of your training exercise, it's um, you buy the electrics and your pod, and you either need to buy a launcher or you use your ordinary one. In the box, you get your trigger system, which is extremely simple. Uh, just go just goes on on, on the bottom with it with a. Uh, an Allen key, and then you just slide it straight straight into the tube. And to work it, you've always got to never dry fire one of these because you can you can damage your extractor. Hence, up, that's why I've opened it. You bring it down, down like that. You make sure you're tur you're turned on. You get your control, and you fire it. And it's as simple as that. They've just improved the the transmitters for the, for the um, electrics. So you've now got eight buttons. So what you can can do with these, you can either set them up in a line. If you buy more than more, more than one, two, three, four, or five, and you can connect them with, with wires, so you only, only need to buy one set of electrics, or you can buy a set of electrics with each um, uh, sidekick, and then you would have this this program does number one, then you'd have number two, number three, number four, up, up to eight. So you can have these scattered around your training field, uh, and, and birds and, and dummies dropping out the sky. Good for the dog, good for you. It's extremely nice, as you can sort of see by the way, why, why I'm picking up. It's small enough to fold down to go into your game bag, uh, and, and it's something that ladies like, simply because it's extremely light.